Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Craig here from Video Juice and we're back with another Game of Thrones reaction, episode 4 this time. Uh, last time on Game of Thrones we had a crazy episode. Lady Olena bit the dust. Um, true way of poison, she stole that last scene. Throwing it in Jamie's face that she killed Joffrey and saying like, you make sure you tell Cersei. <laughs> so that was, um, that was cool, the whole scene was great. Um, gonna miss the actress and the character. Uh, they were she was she was great on the show. I really liked um, Queen of Thorns, um, and Danny's second attack. Um, technically won, but technically failed at the same time. <laughs> they took Casterly Rock, but they didn't really care about losing it, and they sent all their people over to to um, High Garden. Uh, we got to finally see Casterly Rock and High Garden. That was very exciting. What has happened? There was loads happened. John and fucking Danny <laughs> finally met. Uh, Danny permitted him to use Dragonstone after they had a dick measuring contest. It ended up being a draw. <laughs> um, I, I, as I said, I loved the episode. It was probably my favorite of the season so far. One of my favorites of the show. I just thought it was brilliant and like the the build up for these two characters to meet for was has been happening for so long. Um, thought it was great to see it happen and the way it unfolded. I thought it was just perfect. It, it was just a, it was a great scene. Every scene they were in. Uh, I've already seen a Dragonstone was great last episode um this season for me so far is just knocking it knocking it out of the park so i'm really looking forward to episode four this is going to jump us over the halfway mark which is very sad <laughs> but also excited because things should start like ramping up now um i would hope not that the other episodes needed to the other episodes were great anyway plus we still got we still got lots of action like the the whole bit at the end of last episode with cast of the rock like it's really cool seeing how far the show has come because like you look at back at season one and the battle towards the end of that season with Tyrion getting knocked out and missing the entire thing. That was just because they didn't have the budget and now they can just like show it. <laughs> so that's, that's that's really, really cool. Um, and like just at the end of a like third episode, it was just great. And then the second episode had the um, Euron. Oh, and Euron brought fucking... Euron brought the Sand Snakes and... What was her name? Ilaria over to Cersei and Cersei exacted her revenge in Cersei fashion. <laughs> so that was all cool. Um, we did have a Q&A. Let us check. We got um we got another question. It was from Lopezian again. This was in this was in reference to um Arya meeting Nymeria back in episode two, I think it was. With the arrival of Bran when we were all expecting Arya, do you think it's possible she changed her mind a second time heading back towards King's Landing after realising that her life wasn't going to be the same if she went back home? Um, yeah, I actually said that. I actually said that in my discussion at um, after episode two. I do think... I hope not. And it might not either. It might just be... I might just have been in reference to Nymeria. Um, like, not being that person... Not being that... Obviously not. She's had to change. She has her own life and everything now, and she just maybe doesn't want to come back with Arya to Winterfell because that's not her anymore. It might have been just in reference to that, but I was thinking as well that it might have made Arya realize that she is not the same person as well, and that she now has her own life, uh, and that everyone has changed probably, and that she might uh, end up going back to trying to kill Cersei. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> I would like her to go back. Like as I said, my the reunion I'm looking forward to the most um, is John and Arya. Just because they had such a, a special bond. Jesus Christ, I'm dropping my pen in the recap now. That's one! <laughs> just because, yeah, and, and even her and Sansa. Um, Arya and Sansa is a reunion I really want to see as well, just because they've changed so much over the years, and they used to butt heads and all that. And their siblings, I just want to see. I want to see all the Starks in one place. Um, yeah, but yeah, I do, I do think it is a possibility that she might have changed her mind and went off back to um, back to King's Landing to, to fight Cersei, or try <laughs> and kill Cersei. Um, we had a part two to this question with the line in the trailer of Sansa quoting book Ned, uh, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives and Arya being the only remaining Stark that hasn't returned to Winterfell. Is she the lone wolf in the quote? It could be, it could be Arya. Um, like who else could it, could it be? Because if Arya does go back to Winterfell, obviously like, like it could happen this episode, it might not. Um, but if Arya does go back to Winterfell, then there's not really any... No one was. Although she could just go back to reunite with everyone and then go back on her mission because she still does have the list and she has the skills now to take out the people on the list. So she's going to want to sort that out. And I don't think there's anybody going to be able to stop her. And that might be Sansa. Yeah, I'd say Arya is the best bet for that at the moment, I think. We have a bonus question. From Lopezian as well. <laughs> if you could create your own house, what would be your sigil and words? 
or alternatively, uh, which existing house would you serve? Hmm, that is actually a great question. Um, I would probably need to think on the um, creating your own house and sigil and words. <laughs> uh, I'll think on that and I'll come back. If anyone else wants to answer, please answer down below in the comments. Answer any of the questions. I would love to know your, um, your answers to these questions. If we're just talking about joining a house, See, the Targaryens would be good, but <laughs> they don't fully exist anymore. <laughs> I just want me some dragon. <laughs> um, probably the Starks. I mean, the Starks are the obvious choice, but I like the Starks. Um, I will have to think. I'll have to think on the my own, create my own house and sigil thing. That's a really great question. Thank you very much, Lopezin, for those um, for those questions uh, again. We will have more next week. I'll be giving details at the end of this about how to participate in the Q&A next week. I don't have any predictions for this episode. I, I would hope we're going to get some resolution to what Arya did in this one. I would say so uh, because of the fact that we had the gap and the Bran fake out last week. Um, I would hope that we're going to get some more with that. I want to see more. I want to see more of the Hound, more of uh, Beric Dondarrion. I just want to see more of everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see everyone. Let's do this. Oh! Last man who wielded it meant to cut your throat, but your mother fought him off. No, he still has it anyway. Surely he can see who sent him, right? Who sent the assassin after him? The other dagger. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. Oh, man! He's just. That's all you've got to say. He's just so emotionless. Thank you. Thank you. Is it Arya? She's... Yes! Oh my god. In there. I live here. Fuck off. <laughs> I start. This is my home. <laughs> Tell Sansa her sister's home. Lady Sansa is too busy to waste a breath on you, just like us. Oh, is he gonna get violent? Fuck off. <laughs> I'm getting into this castle one way or another. <laughs> I'm not, because if you don't, I'm gonna hit you right in the fucking face as hard as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I'm told her to wait. Did she get? We were standing right next to her. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Pen. Do I have to call you Lady Stark now? Yes. I'm so happy she didn't get turned away because of the whole Nymeria thing. I run from the guards. <laughs> I didn't run. They say you killed Joffrey. Did you? <laughs> she wishes. <So> hard. <laughs> Me too. Aww. Bran is home. I thought you might go to King's Landing. So did I. Why would you go back there? <laughs> Cersei's on her list of names. Who else is on your list? Most of them are dead already. <laughs> oh. Are you sure? Are you with a Valyrian steel dagger? Valyrian steel. It's wasted on a cripple. She could possibly kill some, some White Walkers with that. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I don't know how she'd fare up against one. The possibility has been created, though. Whoa. That's a lot of dragon glass. <laughs> there is something else I want to show you, Your Grace. Oh. They fought together against their common enemy. 
Oh. Despite their differences, despite their suspicions. Together. We need to do the same if we're going to survive. It's a little bit of proof for her anyway. It's always been real. Oh, they look cool. <laughs> for stone carvings, they look cool. I will fight for you. I will fight for the North. If? When he bends the knee. <laughs> there it is. <sighs> We're getting there, though. <laughs> We're getting there. I think she's warming up to him. What is it? Oh, word from the Unsullied. We took Costly Rock. <sighs> That's very good to hear. What do you think I should do? Oh, asking John's advice. I'm at war. I'm losing. John has got a war. What do you think I should do? Ooh, this will be interesting. You can't use that, my lady. It's too small. I won't cut you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll try not to. Ooh. <laughs> That was cool. Oh man, she's good. <laughs> oh, Brianna's losing her temper a bit. Oh, this is so cool. Dagger. Ho oh, ho. <laughs> I loved that. That was cool. <laughs> oh, look at that death stare. Notice you're staring at a good heart. <laughs> There's no time for that. <laughs> She's the queen we chose. Will you forgive me if I switch sides? <laughs> Is that a Greyjoy shit? Oh shit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I forgot about this. Alright. Yeah, there it is. What you did for her is the only reason I'm not killing you. Oh man. Imagine if Danny just rolled up on them. All the gold safely through the gates. With our tree dragons. We need to get the last of these wagons over the black water. Dick on. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you fought bravely at high. I didn't expect it to smell like that. Men shit themselves when they die. Didn't they teach you that at fancy lad school? <laughs> oh, man. I did when I was five. I missed Braun. Listen. No. No way. Oh, that's a lot of people. Counter attack, bitches. Oh, I hope Jamie doesn't die. Or Braun. Oh, that's, an, that's a really cool shot. It's, oh, no, they can't. It begins. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. oh man, they're just gonna decimate their army. I don't even care. The pen is gone. That's two. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. 
<laughs> so many of them. Yes, to the horses. Get the, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're not getting paid enough for this shit. Oh, Jamie. And Bron is still there. They need to get out of there. Oh, that was... Oh, that's cool. Holy crap, that looks fucking epic. She needs to pull up. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Dickus. <laughs> Is he going to the, the the big arrow thing? Yeah, for the dragon. Oh man, if they take down the dragon now. Underneath. Oh! I mean, I want Danny's army to win, but I don't want Bron to die. <laughs> Oh man, that was such a cool shot. Oh sh shit. They brought it. Why introduce it if it's not gonna work? Like, there's no way it's gonna miss. Tyrion is there! Will he see Jamie? Take cover. I don't think you can take cover from Dragonfire. <laughs> that shit stings. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, she's seen it. Can't just fly straight at it. Gonna need to do something else. Go, go from up above. Surely you can't shoot straight up. You go up and just dive straight down. Shoot them out. Shit. Oh, burn him. Oh no, it's Bron. I forgot who it was there for a second, I was just thinking about the dragon getting stabbed. <laughs> That'll do it. She get it out. Oh! Don't. He sees him. Dragon. Two cars. Oh. Ho, ho. Was it Bron? That knocked him off. Don't end. Please don't end. No. No. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> um, might have been my favourite episode of Game of Thrones ever. I mean, it's up there. It's that or a hard home. <laughs> that or a hard home are up the top. Right off the bat, Bron stole the show for me. <laughs> um, he hasn't been around a whole lot recently, so it's good to see him properly in it again. Uh, and he's just he stole the show for me this episode. I thought he was funny. <laughs> he, um, he, was, he was good. Um, I wrote down more Bron. But, I mean, <laughs> there's a possibility that he might not make it out. Um, I mean, Jamie's not going to die, right? We knew that Danny wasn't going to die. Even though there was a tiny little bit um, of worry a few times for me. Just because it's Game of Thrones and it's so unpredictable. And it would be a real Game of Thrones thing for her to just die in her first proper battle that she's participating in. But... We knew she technically, we knew she wasn't. Jamie is probably safe. So Bronn, if they're going to do a big character death for the aftermath of this battle, Bronn could be it. Um, 
It was so good. It was so cool because there's, there's big characters on both sides. Like, probably one of the first times ever in the show. Having, like, big major characters that people that the fans love on both sides. Um, so, it just put the, it rose the stakes um, a lot. And the battle was fucking phenomenal. Some of the shots in that battle were just incredible. Like, it was probably the most visually... You see, Battle of the Bastards kind of took it for me. But uh, visual, Battle of the Bastards took it because of scale and what they did. Like, this the scale of that was just massive. Um, this one just, just spectacle-wise, it was just incredible with the effects. And, the, like, I, I love how realistic they make the battles feel in Game of Thrones. Like, Battle of the Bastards, all the bodies were just lying around the place. And you could see, like, when the two forces collided and John was in the middle, like, you could barely see the sky anymore. There was just this, like, darkness over everyone. Just darkness and mud and fucking bodies and everything like it was really really gritty and it was really really realistic um, and they did the same thing here it was when, when they were battling just like it was just like darkness and like explosions and it was just it was just done really well i found it interesting that cersei she said kyburn was doing something to the golden company um that was um it was referenced before with stannis i remember i think it was it davos was saying to him or something that they should get him and 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 uh, Stannis was saying no because he didn't want to he didn't want to buy his army or no he didn't want to sell swords something like that I can't remember so that could be Cersei play to get hire them they said they had a good few thousand strong they said a number I can't remember what it was um, but if that but I was thinking about it when they said it like that wouldn't that isn't that completely contradictory of Cersei because of all the big the big speech and pep talk that she gave, not pep talk, but the big speech she gave to um to uh Tarly and the rest of them about foreigners coming in and fighting for Danny. So then if she does that, because they're based in ESOS, I think. So if she does that, then she's just doing exactly what she said, like she told them exactly what she, she used against Danny, like exactly what she told them that um that Danny was doing to get them on her side, so I don't know how that will, I don't know how that will um, play out. It'll be interesting anyway. That's even if they do it. I liked Mira's interactions with Bran before she left, and I liked her thing saying like, "You died in the cave, basically," because this is, it's basically not Bran. Like it's, I mean, how do you stay a person when you can, when you can view everything, you know? It's, it would just collapse your mind, which. Is what we're basically not 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 collapsing his mind, but just basically what we're seeing. He's just like, just an emo, just sitting there emotionless all the time. It's um, it's a little bit sad to see. And now Arya is there now. It'd be cool if Arya killed Littlefinger, but I don't know. I don't know if Arya will stick around. I hope she does. The reunion, everything in Winterfell, everything in this episode from the start to finish was just incredible. But the reunion, all the reunion stuff in in, in the start at Winterfell was just great. I loved Sansa and Arya's reunion. Um, it was cool in the fact that they acknowledged like how different they are and all that. It was, I really really liked that. And Brienne, um, fighting Arya, that was brilliant. I love that. She said it to Sansa. I have a list. Blah blah blah. And then Sansa was like, <laughs> yeah. And she laughed back. And then like, Bran says it later, and she's like, wait a minute, this list is real. <laughs> and then like later on, she sees her fighting Brienne. She's like, holy shit, this girl has changed, and she has a list. <laughs> um, she didn't. Seemed too thrilled when she saw her fighting Brienne, so I wonder, I wonder what's going to happen with that. It'll probably be it'll probably be addressed next episode. I would hope anyway, um, but she didn't seem too thrilled when she saw her fighting Brienne. That was probably the realization that, oh shit, <laughs> this girl is um quite different. I mean, so is she, but the fact that um shit that was impressive as well. I have to say, I uh, get sidetracked, but Arya's fighting and all that was impressive. That's like the first time we've properly seen her fight. I think. Um, why don't we seen her doing assassins or doing assassinations and all that? But it was the first time we've properly seen her fight and she was impressive. Uh, that was cool. Some of the choreography was good and having her fight Brienne was just, it was really cool and Brienne kind of um, getting properly into it as well. I really, really enjoyed that. And Arya now has the dagger. That is cool and interesting. It creates the possibility for, for Arya to take out a White Walker. Maybe. I mean, um, she has the Valerian steel dagger. It's another, it's another, it's another weapon against the White Walkers in play now, and it's and Arya has it. So 
That's cool. Hopefully she gets to use it <laughs> very soon. Hopefully she gets to use it on Littlefinger. That'd be um that'd be interesting. It'd be cool. If 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 it is if it did turn out to be Littlefinger who had the attempt on uh Bran's life, and then like that same dagger is his end. That'd be cool. Um I mean I won't lie. The minute the actual battle started, I didn't write anything down. <laughs> uh, I did. I wrote the scorpion down just so I could remember. Um, oh, Danny and John. Yes. I forgot to talk about that. I know on the show, we don't have official confirmation of John's parentage. But, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed. They could still take it a different way. Um, but I don't know. It's interesting that they're starting to the romance now. I know we had the, the, little, the little sneaky look the last episode. It was the last episode. Of, no, it was last episode because they met last episode. The sneaky look on Danny at the end when they were walking away from the last confrontation. Um, so the, the little seed was planted there, but they kind of went more with it this time. We've seen them when they were in the cave and that they kind of had a, a close moment. Um, so it's interesting that they're doing that, especially if it turns out that his parentage is who we think he is, uh, Rhaegar and Lyanna, because that would mean that Danny is his aunt. But I mean... As far as I know, the Targaryens inbred anyway, didn't they? They 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 to keep the bloodline strong or whatever. So I mean, it wouldn't be out of the question. Uh, they could take it another way and have his parentage be different, but the way they did the cut with the baby and uh, all the terror of joy scene, Nola, um, I don't think so. Unless it was just a red herring or a big troll to the community, <laughs> like to the people who have been reading the books and have been waiting for this to be revealed for so long. It could have been just a big like. A big like joke, not not joke, but you know, like a big like nod to that, but have it be something different because of the fact that they didn't just come out and reveal it. That's that's the only reason why I'm kind of half t uh, thinking that it could be something else. Um, but I was thinking like if they, you have the fire and ice, obviously is them combining. But like if John is, the, if his parentage is who we think it is, um, he would technically be fire and ice combined already. But having him and Danny wed, that would unite. The north with the south. Yeah, my mic again. Uh, that would that would unite the the um, the north with the south, because John said that's why I thought they were going to mention it this episode. But obviously not because they barely know each other. But like he was saying, like the north won't follow you. Who would they follow? They would follow John because they're already following John. So if they wait, it's fire and ice meeting, and it's also the north being combined with the south, um, unified again. Because I think that's probably the only thing that's going to make it work because of everything that happened with the Lannisters and everything that happened over the last six seasons. So, hmm, yes. And then, obviously, the last fucking battle. That battle, it was just incredible from start to finish. The um, I loved that Tyrion was there and the fact that he seemed affected by all of his, all the Lannisters getting killed and and Jamie running at Danny because uh, he knew it wasn't going to end well for him. Um. So, what Danny said was te technically a little bit true. The whole, like, question his loyalty and if he still if if he still has, if he still cares about the Lannisters, which are technically his enemies now, but they're technically still his family and all that. I mean, we know he still cares for Jamie anyway. He's, that's that's not going to change. But he did still seem to be affected by his his townspeople or his 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 countrymen being um being burned alive. So, but I mean. He's still there. He hasn't. He hasn't had a great track record, <laughs> being Danny's war advisor. Uh, as the hand so far, he's over two, so I didn't expect him to be out there. I wonder if he is out there for something that's going to happen next episode. Obviously, I don't think Jamie is dead. We saw the, sh the last shot of him like sinking, but I think he'll probably be taken up. He could get taken prisoner, maybe. Um, Bron, I'm not so sure about. I hope he's not dead. Because we just got him back <laughs> after a little bit of an absence. So we'll have to wait until the next episode to see. Um, yeah. Why didn't she take the three dragons? She should have took all three. I just had the other two just fucking let loose. Although probably yeah, it would have been harder to control. Um, but she could have she could have had that whole fucking place decimated like if she had the three dragons. Along with the Dothraki army. So, mm. well yeah, as I said, it could, it could have been harder to control or whatever. Um we're after getting like three really cool battles on the show in like four episodes so far things are ramping up things have rank, ramped up and they're continuing to ramp so that's really cool i love that this season like i wrote it down just because it popped into my head throughout like the way this is going it looks like this season is going to end all the human conflict and maybe next season we're just going to get a full-on like dealing with the white walker so this season is probably getting rid of the human conflict and finally 
doing all the main stuff with like the Lannisters and Cersei and all and all of that and Danny and 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 John and get rid of all of that conflict and then the last season is just probably going to be all out war with the White Walkers or just all out dealing with the White Walkers um which makes sense I mean if you're going to do it you're going to do it that way especially with the way things are going John being where he is and having to get the dragon stone uh, dragon glass not dragon stone having to get the dragon glass and having to make the weapons um he still needs someone to make the weapons which is why i i do think gendry is going to come back this season uh just because it's the perfect opportunity for him he's a blacksmith he was a very good blacksmith um they need someone to create dragon glass weapons and stuff perfect opportunity for someone who was on a boat for the last three seasons to come back three seasons Longer than that, right? Four or five? Why well, you went off in season two? I think it was two. So, three seasons. Um, four seasons. So, perfect opportunity for him to come back and make some weapons and contribute. <laughs> I love that, like, just to sideline the character, they just put him on a boat. <laughs> just like, we'll be back to you later. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. I don't have a whole lot more. Um, I need to watch it again. Like, the, like, I was trying to think, like, because Hard Home at the moment is probably my top episode. Oh, I don't know. There was a few good ones. Hard Home is up there. This one is up there with me, for me as well for one of my favorite episodes of all time of the whole show. It's easily my favorite this season. It was just incredible. Like, everything about it was just great. Um, There wasn't anything I disliked. And we got Braun properly back in it again. So hopefully not for the last time. <laughs> I, would, I, I don't want, I don't want to see him die. Like, early next episode, that would suck. So, I am going to call it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we will be doing a Q&A for the next episode. Um, if you want to participate in the Q&A, leave us a question or whatever, you can... Um, there's a link below to a post on our forum. You can go there and leave a question if you want, or just an opinion on this episode that you want me to read out or comment on or whatever at the start. We'll be doing the Q&A and the recap of the next video. Um, so, you can go there. The link is below. Or you can tweet at us, uh, hashtag GOTQA, which are questioned then as well. Uh, all questions are welcome. You can like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. If you didn't, it is all good. We have some social media links and the website address down below in the description if you want to check them out as well. We also have a Discord community channel. We do like, we're just talking about games, movies, TV shows, and all that. It's just discussion area. Uh, spoiler filled, but everything is labeled. They're all spoiler warnings on all the channels that are spoiler filled we will be back next week with another reaction to game of thrones we'll have some other gaming videos and reactions and that on the channel as well during the week if you want to check them out and um yeah i think that's it then we'll see you next time later